Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is about keeping myself busy and happy. Um, lately, I've been feeling very stressed and because of the stress, I've, I'm being very lazy, not doing anything. So uh, today is the day I wanted to keep myself very busy and happy at the same time. Um, so lately, I have been very stressed because of my results are going to come out very soon uh, for GCSEs so I was always thinking about it and people were very asking me why are you being very stressed what happened I just don't want to share it but today I kind of finally want to open up and say it today so today's video is just me being very creative So after waking up, I make sure I always drink some water. That's my new habit because before I used to be very dehydrated. So now during the holidays, I make sure I drink water. Also, I tie my hair very neatly in the morning because uh, I think it um, it's, brings like positive energy. And when I do my uh, skincare routine, uh, my hair gets wet when it's messy. So I tie my hair up. And I go to do my skincare routine. I do my skincare routine. I first of all brush my teeth and then I use a simple moisture moisturizing face wash and I make sure I uh, wash it for one minute and then I rinse the water off and I use a simple toner and then I apply my uh, skincare like creams. So I apply a serum from Simple. It's a um, vitamin C uh, serum. And then I apply the moisturizer. It keeps my face very much hydrated and it lasts for a long time. So got a new habit of meditating in the morning i only do it for five minutes um it has been very much helping me with my stress and this five minutes just helps me to forget about the results and keep myself together so i can start a new morning every day and it keeps me very much productive and after that i make sure i just stay quiet a little and think about why I can do this the whole day and then yeah so during the meditation I was thinking to go for a walk so in the morning I went out uh, to Tesco's and I brought some stuff and went back home and decided to do some journaling uh, for the morning and also I'm gonna do some Korean lessons this is also a new thing I found out to do which is for me is very much creative and it gives me very much productive too So morning journals has been keeping me very much productive too. They are a bit uh, time consuming but it's fine. Uh, it kind of keeps me like very much organized. So instead of using like to-do lists, I always use journaling because it keeps me um, well motivated. And then I was having my breakfast uh, along with taking some break because my mind is just going still to exams and it's no good for me still yeah after having some bites from my breakfast i uh, really wanted to learn some korean so i went uh I have like a book so where I write Korean con consonants and vowels it kind of helps me to remember stuff for Korean lessons and 
yeah right now i'm learning like vowels and consonants but i do know some of korean um from k dramas and k pop because you know they kind of helped me to learn korean too So South Korea is kind of like my very much like a dream place to me. So uh, my dad promised me on my 18th birthday, we all going to go to South Korea. Um, so that's why my dad was like, learn some Korean, it will be like fun. And I was like, okay, fine. I already know a lot of Spanish. I don't want to focus on Spanish because I already gave an exam on it. but. Now I want to learn something new, so I started learning Korean. That's also like a good knowledge to gain. So I literally took an hour to do the Korean lessons. Um, I completed, I completed like the first section of it, and I'm kind of like proud of myself because I did work a lot um, for the Korean lessons, and I think I did a great job. So after learning Korean, I was just reviewing the consonants and vowels and it kind of helps me to keep remember things and I was writing it down in my book and yeah, I took pretty good like notes. There were a lot of vowels. So after organizing stuff around my desk area, I make sure to clean my desk area a little. I do this every day so it stays neat and clean. Uh, once a week, I move everything out from my desk and I clean those and I showed you many times in my videos. And then I organize stuff on my table again. I had a packet of clay for a long time and I was very much thinking to make some thing with it so I decided to make it today so I'm going to make like a mini bowls so I was just experimenting with the clay a little it just it just get hard very quickly because of the air so I was using water to um, keep it soft all the way around and you can keep on seeing that I was, I was just experimenting with it. I did make a huge bow, but then I was like, uh, it's just very thin and it will not stay for a long time. And it will also take a long time to uh, dry. So later I took the parts out and I made five mini bowls. So around 1 o'clock I got very hungry so I made myself lunch. So I made ramen and I and I had leftover rice so I used that and I used some soya sauce and some um, 
uh, seeds uh, to make myself a new unique rice with it and it kind of tastes very good uh, with the ramen ramen and rice just goes well with it I guess but people have some different opinions and it tastes very good and then I had to take my glasses off because it was being very uh, much foggy and I couldn't see anything so I got very hungry so I was um, yeah I was taking a break from everything so it kind of ramen just helps me to stay motivated for some reason I had a very amazing lunch after that I decided to go back to work with the clays and it was already night time and I let it dry overnight it took um, I think it will take two days uh, to dry so I just let it be and then um, I took a nap during the day after I had lunch oh my god so so I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, I'm just gonna go and chill. I got a book from the library. This is a science dish. That peculiar science behind the movies. It's all about um, science movies like Interstellar, Martian, and a lot of things. Jurassic Park. It says a lot of things here about uh, in a book. All about the science movies and the science stuff, and it has a lot of knowledge. And I love this book and I'm always halfway through and I have to return it by 20, 29th of August. Um, my results day are almost here. It's next week. Um, it's this week actually, sorry. It's on 24th of August. GCSE people, you might know this and it's going to be killing me. But anyways, I am looking forward to it. I'm just hoping that I will pass. Anyways, I will see you in my next video and bye!